not use Jameis Winston. Uh, trust me, if he would have had a, even a slightly better option, <laughs> that would have been thrown out the window. It's going to be defense first with those Tampa Bay Buccaneers against the Chargers. That's what Crush is going with. He's from the San Diego area. So here's the, the breakdown, just to remind you of what's at stake here. 200 available points. As uh, we'll be getting there, the uh, 50 points in the quarterfinals. Winner get in situation for both of these men. And, you know, if you're Clef, you love the start on defense versus Crush. You know, Crush has made some questionable reads throughout the process of this tournament. He's going to have to lock in. If, I, if Crush is able to get seven on his first drive, it would be a huge confidence boost, allow him to kind of lock in and force Clef to speed up his game a bit. 21-year-old Douglas Thiel is Crush. And you look at Clef over there, Dwayne Wood, although he says nobody's ever called him Dwayne. He's been Clef since he can remember. And, you know, I actually talked to Crush, and he said this is a matchup he likes. You know, this is he said out, out of the out of the players remaining in this tournament, this is the matchup I'd like. I, I wouldn't want to play Henry or Joke, so I, I'm happy with ha having to play Clef in this top eight matchup. Henry and Joke coming up. We got a stacked day here today. Going to be a fun day of Madden. Eventually handing out a belt when we are done later tonight. And, you know, Clef running this big dime defense. I'd honestly like to see Crush audible around a bit, maybe run the ball. Looks like that's what he's going to do out of this gun doubles formation. Got Debo Samuel in motion there, the exciting rookie out of South Carolina. Got a big game I hear tomorrow. Drake will slither upfield with it, pick up seven. And I honestly, if, if Clef is going to run that 2-3-6 will, I expect Crush to try to attack the run a lot in this game. Clef's going to be running this cover three cloud defense, which is very difficult to pass out of if you're an in, in gun bunch. So if you're at home, go ahead and call that cover three cloud out of that big big dime versus these weekend league players because they are going to struggle passing the ball versus it. Baker Mayfield looking. Could have run for the first down. Instead, he zings it to Marvin Harrison. Move those chains. Marvin Harrison. Very confident throw there by Crush. You know, uh, th that is a play, you know, I was a little bit worried about coming into this game. Will Crush still be able to make those plays, step up in the pocket, throw that laser? You know, a lot of players like myself probably are just going to scramble. That would be the first thing I see. I would have just scrambled for the three yards, not Crush. He's going to pick up an extra 25 right there. Huge play there by Crush. Almost in field goal range already. Crush back for a second bite of the apple here at the Madden Challenge. Looking to go forward to the Madden Bowl. Of course, the way it's formatted here, if you're in the finals, if you're one or two, here you go. Otherwise, you lean on points to advance. And here's Drake, who gets smoked. D. Ford came up and hit him. And, you know, I don't mind Crush going to the run, but you don't want to make it so obvious you're running. You know, Clef knew 1,000% that Crush was going <laughs> to run that inside zone right there. You know, motioning the wide receiver in to block. The same exact look he already gave him in this game. You know, you got to mix it up a little bit. Keep Clef on off balance. Crush, having found a way against Rage, had to rally to get there. Use Tyree Kill with a couple of late touchdowns. Steady dose of Kenyon Drake so far, and he runs with Drake again as Clef listens to Drake in those headsets. He tells us that's his choice. And that was so close to being a big, big play for Crush, but Leighton Van Der Esch making a huge play early on in this game. If he would have got ch just chipped, he didn't even have to get held there for, for very long. If he would have just got chipped, that may have been a touchdown out there for Kenyon Drake. You grab those linebackers in the draft. That's important. Both those players have said that when we talked to him. I don't like this route combo at all for Crush. On to third and seven. He's got a Harrison on B if he can get it. But Mayfield goes down. D. Ford found him again. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't love that look at all for Crush. He kind of played scared right there. Although in that second down, he did have an opportunity for a huge gain. But that route combination on third down, he, he you know, I think if he thinks twice about that, he knows it's not going to work because he knows the defense Clef's running. And that, that cover three cloud is going to have some vert hooks. That's just not going to allow that wheel route to get open. Very questionable play call there by Crush. Tress way to punt it away. And you want to keep it away from a couple of good return men, Sanders and Hill, both at the employ of Clef, and we'll get our first look at what he does offensively. He used a lot of inside zone, some deep alt crossing plays too, yesterday when he was moving forward to get here. 
Yeah, Clef is a player that's going to take what you give him no matter what. He's, you know, he doesn't have too much pride. He's going to, trust me, this this <laughs> this kid is the real deal, man. Uh, he's somebody that we're going to see on this circuit for a long time, and he is going to be a belt winner at some point. The only question is when. Well, remember, he played some football himself, did Clef. Worked as a running backs coach, junior varsity coach at New Smyrna Beach High School. Took a break last year and this year to focus on Madden. His dad is the offensive coordinator at Delanda High School in Florida. Snap is his pop's name. Sounds like breakfast cereal here. Snap and pops for the Deland Bulldogs where Trey Thomas went, the great uh, Eagles offensive lineman. And Clef himself went on to play at Fullerton College, Benedictine College in Kansas. So he knows his football because he's played some football. Now he's funneled that here into the Madden community. Running with Freeman, Devontae Freeman gets belted by Derwin James, but that's a healthy gain of nine. Yeah, you know, Devontae Freeman actually has some of the lowest carrying out of all the running backs you can draft, so you don't want to be taking too many hit sticks from Derwin James right there. No, Devontae is good for the wheel routes, right, and some table routes. But it's funny because we've talked about looking to, to actually run the ball, and there's a little flare to Andre Reed with a spin, and he's got the first down. I was surprised, Mo, when you looked at the draft of Clef, and that's a weird draft for a guy who likes to run so much to only grab Devontae Freeman. Yeah, you know, sometimes you just got to take what they give you. Uh, a lot of these guys, they want to draft one of those wide receivers in that in that legend offensive round, that very last offensive pick you can make, just because those wide receivers are so much better than all the other wide receivers in the draft pool. Late first quarter, and Freeman able to bounce and Let's spin. Go to oh, and give he slithers free. Give me the flu. Devontae Give Freeman, one more cut! Yes, Devontae Freeman, touchdown! 63 yards! And that's a very fortunate play for Clef early on in this game. But at the end, he did get very sticky right there. But if you're crushed, you know, that can just not happen. That's Deion Jones. One, break, you know, that he broke he off that tackle in the backfield. He not built for this. So much for just use him on wheel routes and table routes. Devontae Freeman looked like CJ2K right there. Yeah, breaking a few tackles in the backfield. Extremely Everything fortunate play the there for Clef, but that's what you need to happen to go on and win you one of these belts. A Snickers replay, and you know, the, the Falcons guy for a Buccaneers uniform. That's weird, but it'll work. Yeah, and you know, I cannot believe Deion Jones blew that tackle in the backfield. You know, that if you if you draft Deion Jones, you're expecting him to make every single play that's out there for him, and he just blew one right there. Baker Mayfield! The oh, pinballs to Deion! Come on. He runs right into his own forest here. A bunch Deion. of those orange jerseys, and now Deion. Sanders high-stepping it. Look Deion. at Deion breaking Deion. tackles! <laughs> prime time, baby! Prime time. A prime time giggle prime fest time. for Clef! You know, that was one of the more interesting plays we're probably going to see throughout this day. I don't know how that pass got picked off. It, you know, one situation. of the best wide receivers in the game just drops the ball for Crush. And, and Clef gets it in Deion Sanders' hands. He's hard to tackle. Well, Deion was never known for being a guy who was in on a tackle. He was surrounded by his own teammates looking like they wanted to tackle him there. But he, he stepped ahead of a pack and he went all the way. Get another stop. A really unfortunate start to this game for Crush. And this is going to be a tough uphill battle. You know, it's very hard to be down two possessions in this game. Look at this pinball around twice to Dion, and then it's like it's like watching fifth grade soccer here. Everybody just collapses on the ball. Yeah, Dion Sander was just flowing Deion, in the air. You know, Deion. he just wouldn't come down, and then when he does, he's got a wide open lane. Here's your Snickers replay. Glitchy indeed. Drake with a little bit of burst here. Oh, he needed that. Kenyon Drake on full gallop. Kenyon Drake helps out Crush in a big way. And you know, Crush says, stop letting him get lucky. And he's not wrong. Clef has gotten extremely lucky to start this game. But you may have already dug yourself in a hole too deep. You know, Clef is up by seven with the ball. And he's going to be getting it at half. you got to stand up for yourself right here if you're Crush. You talk about an absolutely necessary return volley right there it happened so quickly your snickers replay and you know i love that crush didn't just go right back to that gun bunch showing a little patience now, there even though he's down two possessions he goes to the run game i love it 
So now Jameis Winston. Underneath, finding Andre Reid, and he gets leveled right away. What a start we've had to this one. Oh, man, this has been a lightning fast start. We haven't seen 21 points in a quarter in quite some time. And if you're Clef, you're feeling extremely comfortable right now. You like, like you know, the, the game has kind of went Clef's way so far. But if Crush is able to step up for himself and make one defensive play, get a turnover, he's going to be right back into this game. I would think right now it's all about for both players, just kind of deep exhale, right? A nice cleansing breath because a lot of weird stuff went down. This is this is the biggest drive of the game. If, if Clef is able to get points on this drive, it's going to be very difficult for Crush going forward. Jameis Winston is lowered back at the 20-yard line. And this is a huge down. I know I know. Crush said if I can get him into 100% passing situations, I got a really good defense for him. He watched Joke and Little Man play against this formation, and they, they played phenomenal on defense and I think Crush will be going to that right here on third down and then Opie's going to stick with that he's going to stick with that big nickel depending on a block shed kind of right here watch for this watch for this crosser to Tyreek Hill Aaron Donald's already been in there quite recently and now a third and 12 opportunity for somebody on defense to step up for Crush back goes Jameis Winston oh, and he's no. standing and deliver here. He can run it. He'll slide a little short to bring up a, a makeable fourth down, but you're deep in your own territory. And that was another fortunate play for Clef right there. He kind of had a bunch of defenders around him and just snuck out the pack. And, and, and you know, I, from what I'm seeing from Clef, he's kind of he's setting up his punt to run a fake punt sweep right here. Yep. I think he put his starting running back in. Mm. You know, be, be careful right here. We could see a fake. Run a fake. Fake it. <laughs> and Crush says he's ready for it. Now Dixon steps right into it instead. And Deion Sanders has already been in the end zone for Clef. Let's this one fly away for Crush. And that's huge for if you're Crush. You completely stood up for yourself. Phenomenal defense right there, and you got yourself right back into this game. Now you just need to go down and get seven. Now, Crush doesn't usually rush. I know it rhymes, and it should work, but about 34 yards a game on the online ladder play. Drake. Takes a big hit, but already, remember, Drake has broken through once. Yeah, and I think Crush sees something in this defense. He's, he sees something he likes, and I think he's going to be trying to attack this this run game a little bit more than, than we expected. Speed and power with this Kenyon Drake, a 92 rating. But nothing there, though. He gets buried by D Ford, having a big game here for Clef. And if you're Crush, you just can't turn the ball over right here. You know, you, you may get stopped, you may have to punt, but you absolutely cannot turn the ball over in your own territory right here. Big picture, big things on the line. $10,000, first of all, but also securing a trip to Madden Bowl. Look for Debo Samuel on this corner route. I don't know if he's going to have time to throw it, though. Tyree Kill out there, wide right. Marvin Harrison left with the X on him. There's Tyree Kill. Move those chains. Got the third and eight in there. Great read there by Crush. And Crush has honestly played a pretty good game. He finds himself down seven, and he's not going to be getting the ball back at half. But he's honestly played a pretty, pretty, pretty well-played game. He's just got some unfortunate breaks right here. He just bounced back nicely from down 14 early, and he continues to be great on third down makes. That's one thing if you check the stats, just pops out at you. Here's Drake again. Try to cut it back inside, not a lot there. And Clough has made an adjustment to this run defense that I like. It looked like he may have had some space out there, but, you know, clef has got them great defenders, able to close the gaps quickly, and now Crush is... He's, he's going to have to pass the ball in this game. You know, Clef is one of those players, if he feels like if he can make his opponents pass, he loves his chances. And, you know, Crush is going to have to drop back and pass right here on second and eight. Engram out there is a tight end to the right side. Baker Mayfield back. Great read. And Tyree Kill reels it in. And Cr hey, this is the best I've seen Crush look on offense in all of the games he's played. He looks extremely confident. He's not missing any reads. Been a smooth criminal so far. They caught him on his defensive tackle. Dangerous pass, and it's paddled away. And you know, you know that that looks like a scary pass, but that's Frank Clark in coverage. You got to take your chances right there. Clef, great, great awareness to get back there though. Once he realized he was clicked onto his defensive end, keep chucking it on second and ten. 
Yeah, it looks like Crush is, you know, he, he's given up on the run game. Expect him to expect him to be airing the ball out the rest of this rest of the way. Yeah, it took his one big burst from Drake. Maybe that's if all you get in the run game, you live with it. Looks like he is going to go back to this run. I'd like to see him not motion because it makes it so obvious he's running the ball. First live event meeting between these two, but they know each other well. There's Drake to the outside with the first down. And he's out of bounds. That's huge for Crush. He's, he gets to preserve one of them timeouts, and now he has the full playbook at his disposal with a minute 30 left in half. This is a really good situation for Crush, especially with how this game started. 115 first half yards for Kenyon Drake. I'd like to see him go right back to this I form tight, see if you can get, get on the outside with Kenyon Drake again. He's been the focal point of this offense. You know, I, I don't think going into this game either one of us expected that. But, you know, it, it's been something that's worked for Crush, and I would continue to go back to it. And remember, Crush has Harrison, Marvin Jones, Debo Samuel. I mean, some guys he can get the ball to. But if it ain't broke, don't fix it, I guess. He's running with Drake, that's right. running well with a buck 27 left in the half. Drake again. Ah, oh, he got slowed down. Almost turned the corner. Yeah, I thought that was going to be a touchdown, but it looked like Leighton Van Der Esch was coming free again, making all the plays on defense right now for, for Clef. If I was crushed, I'd like that look I've seen a lot. I would go right back to it. Van Der Esch, the big ranch hand from Idaho. Expect Crush to audible to I-form tight. Final minute of this second quarter. Crush trying to complete the comeback here. He spotted to Clef the 14-0 lead right away. If I was crushed, I would just snap this ball. You got a really good look with that stretch to the left, but he looks like he's going to go stretch right. Cuts inside, Drake to the house. Touchdown, Let's Crush. Go. You've got lucky every play, and you're still going to lose. You're still going to lose. You're still going to lose. Well, look at that from Crush. And this is an lucky absolute dog fight. You know, you're Crush really lose. is fighting his heart out. He has got lose. really you're unfortunate in this game, and he's you're tied it up lose. with 44 you're seconds to go lose. left in half. That, that's some of the nastiest capping we've seen here in four days. I know, and I said on the desk earlier, I, I really didn't want to see Crush go to that because this this type of stuff does fuel Clef, and Clef is still in a really good spot in this game. He's got the ball right now, and he's going to be getting it at half. Well, he has not only poked the bear, I mean, he's taking a stick and just beating him up with it here. The replay showing Drake wiggling in. You know, great, great patience there by Crush. I knew he was going to audible that eye form tight. I thought he was going to run the stretch to the left, end up running it to the right. Still a great play. Boy, from anemic to atomic for Crush, or for Crush in this first half, to tie it up at 14. And, you know, this drive is going to tell us everything we need to know about this game. And also a little bit about the personalities, too. I mean, there's Clef. Gronkowski, I'm the doomed. football at the I'm feet doomed. of Crush, if he comes up with a touchdown here at the end I'm of the half. I'm telling you, if you're, if you're Crush, you cannot give up a touchdown here before half because Clef is going to let you hear about it. Clef gets the ball to start in the third quarter, too, we should point out. So, I don't love the adjustments here by Crush. Jameis Winston lost to Andre yeah. Reed. Sanders is going to get there. Oh, oh, my God. Andre Reed ripped it's it away. It's every play. Wow, you know, that's Deion Sanders, the best cornerback in the game. Crush is getting as unlucky as you can possibly get. He's got to stand up for himself. He cannot give up seven points here. Look for Andre Reid on this curl route. First and goal at the nine. Winston didn't get rid of it, and the ball's out, but that will get us to halftime at 14. There's still 20 seconds left in the half. Clef is going to be able to burn one of those timeouts. If you're crushed, I would maybe play a little bit more aggressive on defense. Go for a sack right here. Yeah, with 20 seconds left, another chance. It is Freeman. Great tackle there. there by Crush. He's wow. going to get the spike off, though. He's going to get the spike off. Five seconds, four, three. So you just take your points here? I mean, you're, you're you, at the two-yard line. you got to take your points here. And that's that's a really good play that call by the Clef right there, knowing that he's going to be able to get the spike off. Really impressive with that play call right there. Really, really can't tell you enough about it. And he almost broke free for a touchdown. I would have tried to juke out maybe, but that was just a phenomenal tackle by Crush. Boy, two yards away from a big time payoff. He'll settle for the three and a little snap back at Crush as they got into it there towards the end. What a game. 17-14 at the break in our quarter final. Let's go to the desk. James standing by. Thank you so much, Josh. For those of you interested in a big prize for Mutt's new Super Bowl promo, 
Tune into three consecutive hours each day of our final day of our Madden Challenge live stream coverage for a special token. Collect four to earn a Super Bowl past and present fantasy pack. We will get you back to the game shortly, but first, let's listen in to Cleft the God in our latest Audible. Let's go, Devontae! Give me the flu! Give me the flu! Give me the flu! Get sticky! Come on, Prom Tom, baby! Prom Tom! Prom Tom! You can't ask for nothing better! What more you want, Clo? What more do you want in this situation? And they know you're having just a good old time. There you go. Start your championship run in Madden Mobile, play Super Bowl of events, and earn your favorite players from Super Bowl 54, like Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, George Kittle, Richard Sherman, and more. All right, let's get you back into the second half. Clef leads 17 to 14. Josh Lewin, Sirius Mo on the call. All right, thanks so much, James. It got interesting, it got noisy in that second quarter. And now let's see what Clef can do about extending a 17-14 lead. Deion Sanders has been a big player in this game because he had a pick six for Clef, but playing for Crush, there was a chance that his Deion Sanders had to rip a ball away at around the nine yard line. It didn't happen. Yeah, like I said, you know, Crush for him to only be down three points in this game is extremely impressive. He's got pretty unfortunate throughout the, the process of this game. Devontae Freeman, who's been in the end zone, takes a whack. And he's got 85 yards on only four carries here for Clef. This is a big drive coming up for Crush. You know, you got to get off the field some way. You, you got to hold him to points. You cannot give up seven right here. Win and get in the Madden Bowl guaranteed based on points for both these guys. There's Freeman right at the first down of sticks. And just to put it in a broader context, I think, Mo, for Clef, I mean, it's kind of always a bridesmaid, never a bride in these tournaments. The second time he's been in a final eight, lost to Goes in the quarterfinals of the club championship. He's he's knocking on the door, but he's kind of stranded on the porch. Yeah, but he's, he's somebody that everybody expects to make a run in one of these tournaments. He just hasn't made it yet. I wouldn't be surprised if this is the tournament, especially with how this game is going. 17-14 right now. He keeps beating Freeman. And remember, that's really his only running back. Tyree kills his go-to receiver. <laughs> Clef said, that guy's made me a lot of money. And kind of a, an unsheathed weapon so far for him. We haven't seen him go to Tyreek yet. There you go. Looking Let's for go, Reed. That'll work. Let's go, Watson. Andre Let's go, Reed, touchdown. Man. Is that luck? Is that luck? You know, we've seen Deion Sanders almost make a play on the football earlier. That Derwin James just doesn't have that same speed as, as Deion and Crush gets burned over the top. Right when it got to 14-14 and Crush started getting very, very chatty. Now it's been 10-0 clef ever since. Yeah, and you know, some of it his fault, some of it not. That was a phenomenal play there by Clef. He found Andre Reed in a big way. They're just wide open. Clef isn't going to miss one of those reads. All right, so this becomes, I would think, the drive of the game for Crush. Yeah, he can't He can't afford to get stopped right here. He's got to get points on the board. He's going to audible back to that I-form wing and run the stretch to the right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Motioning Tyree kill. 45, 45, 45. Out of that Texans playbook, which is a jackpot for Crush. He loves that playbook. A lot of things you can run out a bunch. Well, we get a timeout. And Crush is, has him really uncomfortable versus the run right now. I would continuously go back to it, you know. I know you're down two possessions in this game, but Clef looks very uncomfortable stopping this run. He's going to audible back to that I-form wing right here. Solid linebackers for Clef, we should point out, out of the Bears playbook. Not the playbook he was hoping for. He wanted the Packers or the Titans, he said. Oh, he was ready for that stretch. You were ready for it. He was ready for it. Yeah, it looked like Clef made a last-second adjustment. Audible demand a man, kept that safety in the box, and Adrian Amos goes up and makes a huge play. Adrian Amos, the former Bear, the current Packer, has been all over the rosters that we've been watching here this week. Mayfield back. 
Only 41 passing yards so far. He can run, doesn't quite get the first down. I, I loved the adjustments I seen from Clef right there though. It looked like he had a cornerback just blanketing that motion slant. Phenomenal job by Crush though to step up and run with his quarterback. Big third and three with Samuel in motion. Marvin Harrison seldom used. He's available and open. But Mayfield oh! can't get rid of it. And it looked like he was going to have that slant coming wide open. But Crush not able to buy enough time to get, the, get it to him. Frank Clark down on top of Baker Mayfield. And on fourth and 12, this deep and with this much time left, you punt. Bad punt, bad punt. You're at 40. You're at 40. Away from Deion Sanders, which is wise. Yeah, not a very good punt there by Crush, though. You know, you, you probably could have got him to around the 25, but regardless, it doesn't matter. you got to get a stop on this drive. You cannot give up any points. All right, so if you're Clef, I mean, are you airing it out, or are you just opening the throttle here, or are you safely running the ball? Clef is just going to constantly take what the, what the defense gives him. You know who's an interested observer in this one is PK Deliverance because if Clef wins this game, Deliverance suddenly is still alive. Yeah, and Clef is going to be an absolute lock for that Madden Bowl if he's able to hold on to this game. And Crush, he's going to have to go straight through that LCQ if he wants to if he wants to make his appearance in the Madden Bowl. So if you're Crush, you know you didn't want this game to go this way at all. You know some unfortunate breaks, but you still got time left in this game. You got to make a play. And that's an important point you make too. You still have that that safety valve route to, to get to Madden Bowl if you're Crush, if you don't rally. But you don't want to have to go there. I mean, you, you want to win to go forward. Yeah, absolutely. A second and 14 stop would help. And he locks up Cooper Cup to bring up third and kind of mid-range here as we get late in the third quarter. Third and 10. And this is the play of the game. You've got to get your defense off the field. If Clef is able to burn another two minutes in this game, it's going to put you in a really tough spot. But if your defense can get off the field right here, you give yourself a brand new life, and you're right back in the game. I'd actually love to have a camera on deliverance right now. I'm sure he's pacing, roaming the halls. Suddenly the biggest Clef fan going in the world. He was not happy with himself after that 21-7 loss. The game before this one. Winston looking. Winston to the sidelines. Inbounds or out of bounds no is catch. the question. No, no catch. catch. He's going to have to punt. Great defense there by Crush. I wasn't sure if they were going to give him that possession catch on the sideline or not, but he keeps himself alive in this game. He has to go down and get seven right here. And Dixon thumps the punt away. Out of bounds, away from Dion. If, right. if you're Clef, you know, you kind of just want to play passive on defense right here. Make Crush use up a lot of that time. Regardless if he gets points or not, you need to see the clock burn. Now remember, Crush had to rally late to get this far. He beat Raid 17-13 in the wild card round. Had to come from behind there. Started out 0-2, losing to Boogs and Joke. He was 1-2 in his group, survived with a, a shutout of Little Man. Then the win against Rage. Now he's got to come back against a very determined cleft. Because you pointed it out, Mo. I mean, this guy has been so close to becoming a star. And, you know, both these guys, are they're in the same boat. You know, they both have been so close, just not able to make it happen on the big stage. And this is, either one of them is going to have their opportunity today. They are belt worthy, both of them. Drake with... The push for the first down. I'll tell you what, but the key to that play right there was that Leighton Van Der Esch. He's getting off these blocks. He's making huge block sheds at crucial times to save touchdowns. Four's up, my friend. Fourth quarter presented by Snickers. I dig because suddenly people think it's okay to talk on speakerphone in public. What was that? Oh, nothing. Just some lady digging a giant hole. Well, there's the camera we had hoped for on PK Deliverance. Yeah, he's, we're throwing up fours. He's throwing up the, the two hands together to pray that Clef can hang on here. And as for that man, Crush, he's not crushed if it all ends here. Because, again, he's got that LCQ safety rope to pull himself back. But, again, it's not ideal and nothing's guaranteed. Yeah, that LCQ is, is going to be really tough. You know, there's only one person that comes out of that. It's going to be very difficult to be that guy. When Crush was down 14-0, he dug down, tied it at 14, and he, I mean, he made the Cap'n Hall of Fame 
at the moment he tied it at 14. But ever since then, ever since he he let loose on Clef. Well, that's been Clef 10-0. Here's Drake. And he gets pounded trying to get to the outside. And you know, the unfortunate thing about this game is it looks like Crush can get 5 to 10 yards whenever he wants running the ball, but there's just not enough time for him to continuously audible back to that run game, and he's going to have to air it out. He's going to have to get it done through the air on this possession. Tyree Kill has got to be the man you look at, right? That was his go-to to come back yesterday as Marvin Harrison gets to the outside, but for very little yardage. Yeah, you you got to you got to get this ball moving. You know, you're taking way too much clock right now. You're not getting big chunk yardage, and you're still on your own side of the field approaching the four minute mark you got to have a big play right here it's the number three out of 16 in this tournament passing guy is crush loves the gun bunch usually figures out a way he's great on third down so you expect a completion here and it's ingram who's got it and that's a big truck he's going to be able to get out of bounds that's a huge truck right there saving some Sa time. saving about 30 seconds in this play in this game you know that's that's really really big at this point yeah you need two scores here now do you start to think if it if it slogs down a little bit around the 30-yard line about kicking the field goal early? Think, uh, you don't want to kick it too early. I always say around the two-minute mark. Oh, oh and pat it goodness. down, and that was almost the ball game right there. And that was a contain that almost picked that off. You know, Clef's players are playing out of their mind. I have never, literally, never seen that in this in, in this game ever. That was that was an incredible play right there. Well, user said in our pregame coverage that the clutch gene is what Clef has. He'll find a way, Get out of there, but he's got to stop Drake. And, you know, he's struggling to stop Drake. You, If you're crushed, you may have enough time to, to, to go to that run game maybe a couple more times. It just gets really scary. I love I love him going through the pass look right here because Clef is selling out versus the run whenever Crush is in this formation. I'm confused as to how he, he's left Tyree Kill completely alone so far. 3.21 to go. He, go get him. No time as he is dropped behind the line of scrimmage. And it looked like Crush sent him over another guy to block and he just missed his assignment. He would have had the post route wide open, just didn't get the time to throw it again. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson, the Saints rookie safety out of Florida with a huge play. And now we're down at 252. Baker Mayfield looking for some help. Has Samuel. On the crossing route near the 20. So again, here's where I ask the question: Is it, is it more sensible to take your three now because you're close enough? I think you gotta. I think you gotta play it out now. You're too close. You know, if it gets under maybe a, if, if it gets to about a minute 40, you absolutely have to get to that field goal. But you know, I don't. I don't like Crush audibling around, taking all this time. Well, if Clef did his homework, here's where Tyree Kill went to the left side for a touchdown twice late in the game yesterday in the wild card round. And Crush just took way too much time. It's so obvious he's running the ball. He's not going to score a touchdown on this play. Well, there is the run. And, and as you say, the complete bottle up. And that does take you to two-minute warning. But you know what this does? When you're in the red zone, you're able to quick snap that wheelbarrow out of that verticals formation, out of that verticals play in the gun bunch formation. So that's exactly why Crush went to this. The only problem is Clef knows he's going to run that. So the... the I don't know. I, it's it's a really tough spot if you're crushed still. You know, don't force anything because you don't want to take yourself out of the game. Boy, nothing was open. And Baker Mayfield has got a belly flop down. Clock running. 152 is where they stop it. And, you know, if you're crushed, you know that Clef is going to run cover three cloud right here. Your, your wheel route's not going to be open. I expect Crush to run verticals right here. Talked about Crush being a third down converting star, and there oh it my. is! There's the Tyree kill! There's the touchdown! And that's a oh huge play. God. Got oh it out of there in the nick of time, because that was good. If he waited just another split second, that was going to get picked off. And Crush, a great way to stand up for yourself. you got to hold Clef to a three and out right here. Boy, that's tight right there. You, you whistle that ball in there. We had been asking, where's the Tyree kill pass all game? And there it was with 93 seconds to go. Yeah, when, when you're down two possessions, those are the risks you have to take. Great read there by Crush. Show it to you again. Boy, you know, a, a tight window there, but he got it. A little bit of poor stick work there by Clef. He could have easily made the tackle, but he doesn't. And Crush sneaks in for a touchdown. Huge play. Don't take my money, don't eat my lunch, says PK Deliverance in there. Crush isn't set up. Inside zone is going to be a pretty good look right here if you're Clef. Not a lot of lounging going on in the Snickers lounge by Deliverance right now. But that'll oh, help. Oh, Devontae Freeman is a free man. 
Come on, Devontae. All the way downfield to the 10 to the 5. Go. Touchdown, Go. Clef. And if you're crushed, you knew he was going to flip the play right there. Uh, you know, I probably would have audibled, but I understand. It gets in a really tough spot. He just had to make a play with his user. He can't burn a timeout right there. Just an, just an unfortunate sort of, you know, just unlucky that, that, that Crush got clicked on that outside cornerback and moved him inside, and Clough flipped the play. Great play call there by Clough. Now, Defonte Freeman, who had a down year for the Falcons this season, has a step-up game here for Clef as a Tampa Bay Buccaneer of all things. Yeah, it's just an easy touchdown there for Clef. Walk in. Everything but the pom-poms in that Snickers lounge for PK Deliverance right now. And if you're crushed, you still got a chance in this game. You need to have a really big play. Oh, man, hold your breath. Marvin Harrison able to take it away and keep things alive. Well, that's the risk you got to take. In a 31-21 game. Let's go! Oh! Van Der Esch has got it. And Clef has got it. He has locked this thing up. Yep, and, and Clef is going to be in the Madden Bowl. You know, I don't love seeing that because I'm going to be taking part in that as well. And Clef, one of the better players in the world. He played, a, he played a pretty good game, had a lot of things go his way in this game, but definitely definitely a huge win there for Clef. Tell you what, one great user's ibuprofen kicked in at the right time. He predicted there will be clutch plays made by Clef. And that's exactly what we saw. A spirited double comeback for Crush. Remember, he was down 14-0 early. He tied it. He got to within three late. But that's, in the end, it's going to be too much Clef. Yeah, that's going to do it. Clef's going to be able to knee this 